Hello and welcome to another video of the IT Career Guide YouTube channel. In today's video I want to talk about CompTIA's Network Plus certification exam and I want to share with you study tips that actually work. First of all, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please do so, it really helps me. And with that being said, let's get started. So, CompTIA's Network Plus certification, what is it actually? So CompTIA Network Plus is really the only industry certification that covers both wired and wireless networks and they have built a curriculum around it and an exam where you can go through and then prove your knowledge, prove your skill set and uh, show that with a certification that is highly regarded by employers in the industry. CompTIA's Network Plus validates the knowledge and skills. The exam is not easy. Um, in a certain way, I think this exam is one of the critical ones that you should really consider because networking builds the foundation for almost any job. Be it in help desk, be it in infrastructure, be it in networking naturally, uh, be it in information security. It also is a critical portion when you go into programming and you write something that touches the network layer and um, where you have to make sure that you understand, understand protocols and how traffic is being routed. I mentioned before study tips that actually work. So first of all, I have to ask you the question, are you currently studying for the Network Plus exam? Do you need it for your job? Do you want to break into IT and get into networking? Or do you want to break into IT and are just looking for a way to showcase the knowledge and the skill set that you have built up? Or is Network Plus part of a college curriculum that potentially gives you credits if you pass the exam? So all these options apply. And um, I talked to a friend just recently and he had taken the Network Plus exam. He failed on the first attempt, but then he went back and uh, he passed on the second one. And uh, with our discussion that we had, I learned a lot about the um, approach that he took to pass the exam. And I wanna share some of his study tips uh, to make sure that you can take advantage of his experience and hopefully pass the Network Plus exam in your first attempt. So very important is really get your mindset right. If you don't have the right mindset, uh, you will fail, it will be very difficult to pass any type of exam if your mindset is not in the right place. So my friend had completely underestimated how hard this exam is and um, it's really one of those things in life. Yeah, um, you might be too self-assured um, about something, you walk into a situation and you realize, well, holy crap, I'm not prepared for this situation and that happened to my friend. So um, that was really the first thing, he walked into that exam with the wrong mindset and while well, he paid dearly, he had to re-register for the exam, he had to take it a second time, and then he finally passed. So um, prior, before studying for Network Plus, he had done the two exams for the A Plus um, certification, so he thought he was well prepared, um, and he didn't find them too difficult, maybe because it was easier to understand, but when he walked into Network Plus, that didn't work. So um, networking is a very different monster. Your mindset and your understanding of networking is very critical. So really um, think about it. Yes, you pass some other exams. That doesn't give you a guarantee that you will pass Network Plus from CompTIA. So networking can be very abstract, especially specifically if you don't have to deal with networking. If you're not a network engineer or an infrastructure uh, system administrator, um, and you have no business in, in networking, well, understanding networking is very challenging. So be it protocols, ports, the OSI layer, all these things, if you don't really have anything to do with it in your day-to-day -day job activities, it's a challenge. So, and that's really important. So um, get your mindset into that right place. So what did my friend use for studying? And um, there was actually not that much. So he used CompTIA's CertMaster practice material and he really liked it. Um, one reason why he chose that one over others is really that it came straight from the source, from the organization that is administering the exam. In addition, he felt it was really effective and of high quality. The second source that he used was Professor Messer's training videos. So his free uh, video series on YouTube, uh, my friend found to be very helpful. So, but those are the two main sources that he used to study and where he felt he's getting high value content. So the next thing he did is um, he went through the uh, practice exams. He wrote things down by hand on paper. 
So he didn't write it down into an electronic notepad or note system like Evernote. No, he wrote it down on paper and he ended up with over 45 pages um, of questions and answers written down. Then he went back and he wrote these questions and answers in his study work back into digital format, into a Word document, be it Google Docs or uh, Microsoft Word, whatever you have. But that's really, that helped him. So he went through that process and um, that means you touch these questions several, several times. You do the research or you read the answer several times and it really helps you with memorizing those things. So don't do copy and paste, go straight into um, Notepad, Word or Google Docs. Please write them down on paper. And uh, it's actually proven from different studies that if you write something down by hand, um, that your memory is much easier in picking these pieces up and that you can memorize it. So another thing that my friend did is, and um, that might be more challenging for everyone here, but is he recorded himself. So he put his phone onto a small tripod, a homemade tripod type of thing, and he recorded himself um, answering the question. So reading the question, answering the question. And after he was done, he went back and he listened and he watched the recording. And he could tell where he was unsure. So if you are in front of people and you become nervous, it's, it's highly visible and it might make you a little more self-conscious about yourself. So the same thing here with the exam questions in those practice exams. He realized that, oh, I'm, I'm stuttering a little bit uh, during this one question. So he went back because he realized I'm, I'm not really sure with that answer. I'm guessing a little bit or it takes me much longer to really uh, retrieve that information from memory. So that helped him a lot and that would be my recommendation for you as well. If you have a camera, if you use your phone, just read the question out loud and give the answer back and then just watch it later on for yourself and maybe you can identify something very similar. So the other recommendation is take at least five practice exams and potentially mix the sources. So you can get the uh, practice exams from CompTIA, Professor Messer, um, Jason Dion, Mike Myers, um, uh, probably a couple more CBT nuggets. So I think there's a whole stuff, um, a whole world of practice exams out there that you can choose from. So mix and match those exams, it will help you. As you get closer to your next exam, just spend more time that you really get the um, right understanding of how are the questions being asked. So then focus areas, what topics should you specifically concentrate on and, and make sure that you have the right knowledge. So there are certain areas for the CompTIA Network Plus exam that you wanna um, take a second look at because they are considered the hardest areas. So IP subnetting. So um, subnetting can be really challenging. And uh, if you don't have a good understanding of what is a subnet mask and um, what does this mean? What does that mean? Um, you will be lost. Then Ethernet wiring. Um, it's just awfully challenging to memorize all these little details that are required and potentially being asked in those exams. So if you're not sure, please spend a little extra time there. Then also look at Kerberos, Radius, EAP, TACACS plus. So also look at IP version 6. Um, you're probably aware that we're running out of IP addresses on the current IP addressing scheme, which is IP version 4. So take a look at IP version 6. That's where the future is. You need to understand those parts because sooner or later you will run in into anything in real life that is related to IP version 6. So this is not an exhaustive list, but it should give you an idea of which areas to focus on, specifically if you feel you're a little weak in those areas. So spend the time there, very important. I think when you walk into the exam and you spend your time in those areas, learning and studying and making sure the practice exams match up, uh, you will be well prepared. Again, don't underestimate the difficulty for this exam. Network Plus is not an easy one. In addition, I want to remind you, networking, this can be the foundation of a successful IT career. So you might need it as a system admi administrator, as a systems engineer, as a network engineer in information security. So there are so many pieces where networking is so critical. Spend the time not just to study for the exam, but also spend the time to build that foundation. That foundational knowledge will go long, long ways um, years after you pass this exam. So don't uh, just think I study for the exam, I get the certification and you, that's it. So that's not it. 
make sure it's the foundation. It will help you in the long term. So and then your personal study style may be different. Don't hesitate to follow what works for you. These are just some recommendations that I summarized here a little bit after a discussion with a friend who failed the first exam in Network Plus, went back and then took on CompTIA again and uh, the second time he passed the Network Plus exam. And uh, again, the points don't really matter, but he passed and that's really what the important portion for him was at that point. So he's now A plus certified, Network Plus certified. He's looking at the Security Plus as his next certification. So, and you can see a pattern in there. So it's, it's really building that foundation. And that's where I hope you can think and uh, really identify for you, okay, what is important for you in the long run if you wanna succeed in IT. So I hope you liked this video. Please give it a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please do so. It will really help me. And if you have any questions, um, please put them down in the comments. Or if you have passed the Network Plus certification, please let me and the other guys know really um, what was your experience? How difficult did you find this exam? So that's it for today. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. Take care. Bye-bye.